here. So happy to be. This is the first time I've been in Sketa. This is the third time I've been in Georgia, but and I can't even say it properly. I do apologise. But I'm very happy to be here. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay. I'm very impressed. Okay. <laughs> I'm training staff. So we try to but the interest is not to spend any time I have quite a lot of experience teaching English from every level, from preschool, two-year-olds, up until university level. So I feel that not only am I not somebody who hasn't been sent from um, a company to tell you about teaching things you can do that don't work, I've spent many many years in the classroom teaching as i said from age two up until the university level okay and i really don't see today as a day where i'm coming here and i'm saying you should do it like this you should make it like that no okay i believe that if we went around the classroom and we add up how many years experience we all have okay i am sure that we will actually have more than 50 or 60 years experience together. So it doesn't matter if you have one year's experience or two years or 30 years, we still have so much to contribute to each other. That's what I believe. Okay, so I started off with a little bit of information about myself. What I'd like to do first of all is to give you a little piece of paper and ask if you wouldn't mind just writing your name on the paper. We're quite a small group. So it would be great if you could write your name and then maybe you could stick it up like this and I will try to remember your names. Okay, so if you'd like to take one, pass them back, please. Okay, if you could just write your first name on the piece of paper and then I feel like we might be able to relate to each other a little bit more. Okay, all right, so what I'd like to do is try and make today as practical as I can. Okay, so I do not want to stand here and talk too much. I want to show you lots of things, okay? Maybe you will say, mm, I didn't like that activity, or I couldn't do this activity, or this one wasn't right for me. I'm not trying to change your teaching style, okay? If you do something in your classroom, and it's working well for you, perfect. Maybe you can share with me, and I can use it in my classroom too. But, okay, if from 50 activities I'm bringing today, Maybe you can choose one of them, or maybe you like one of them, maybe you can use it in your classroom, then I think it's something very positive for you. Okay, so I hope you will get lots of things. I think that you will hopefully do something positive to you and your teaching styles as well. Okay, so I like to start each session, you know, with a little warm-up. Okay, so my first warm-up okay, would be this, and I might do this, at the beginning of the year when maybe my children don't know each other very well. It can be adapted for every level in the classroom. My first warmer would be something like this. Okay. So I would come into the classroom and I would write three sentences on the blackboard. So the first one is
look at those sentences. Let's think what you think are true and which one you think is false. Do you think I speak fluent Turkish? Do I look like I might speak fluent Turkish? Maybe. Not sure? Maybe. This lady is definitely, I, I might speak Turkish, okay. I have three first names. No. no. Then maybe you think I'm an Olympic, I was an Olympic skier. Do I look like I was an Olympic skier? Maybe. I shall make my ski position up. Okay, all right, let's have a look at the first one. Okay, actually, I do speak fluent Turkish, okay. I live in Istanbul, I'm British, I'm from London, but I have lived in Istanbul for the last 18 years. Okay. All right. um, I do have three first names. I'm one child in my family, I have no brothers, no sisters. My mother was very excited when I was born, which is why I have three first names. Yeah. One is not enough. All right. Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> I was not an Olympic skier and my skiing skills are usually on my bottom on the floor. <laughs> okay. So, what I would like you to do, ladies, now you know a little bit more about me, I would like you to write down three sentences for yourself. Okay. Two, two true and one false. Okay. So on your own, on your piece of paper or in your notebook, can you write down three sentences for yourself? Two true and one false. will be too crowded. A nice idea for a warmer at the beginning of the year. Maybe the children don't know each other. Maybe, you know, it's funny. They like looking at the list and thinking, hmm, what clues? How can I know that this person is, I don't know, likes dogs or is a football champion or whatever? It's a nice idea to have as a warmer at the beginning of the year. Okay. Uh, this is the third time that I've been in Georgia for training and I think that over the course of those three years the training's changed such a lot. So the very first time we came we were actually focusing very much on course books, English world and so on and um, the training was longer because obviously the teachers needed to learn everything that there was to know about how to actually teach the books. The second year it was slightly different, it was focused a little bit more on different activities that could be used from the book and this year I think it's been very positive and it's maybe been my favourite training because um, we're actually focusing on specific areas or specific issues the teachers um, have requested that we focus on. So for example, how to work with English um, and to teach beginners who are not literate. We were also thinking about teaching mixed ability groups and also one of the best ideas is how to, for example, teach vocabulary in a new and different way. And the final one that we may or may not touch on depending on the needs of the group is testing and how tests can be created to suit the students. Um, I specifically like this training because I think that the teachers have so much input into it. I think that we've really encouraged them to look at the issues that they have and we've come here with training that directly relates to those issues. So the first activity, I'm forgetting where my computer is this time, okay, that I'd like to do is another warm-up for you. Okay. So this warm-up, you would start off, okay, and you would write on the board, okay, the alphabet. Right. At the same time, you would ask the children okay, to write their names on little pieces of paper. So, if you could just write your first name on these little pieces of paper, that would be super. So let me pass. If you take one, pass them back. Okay. Take one, pass them back. You're going to write only your first name on the piece of paper. Alright, and I'm going to write on the board uppercase level letters okay, of the alphabet. You might sing a song while you're writing the letters. Okay, I will not 
pain you with listening to my voice, okay? But you might try to sing a song. The alphabet song, as you're uh, about to so. they will actually teach the material. So for me, um, I come from a background where I taught from preschool age two right up to university level. I feel that I have um, an idea of what it's like to teach many different levels of students. Um, and for me, I think the uh, main idea is to give as many practical applications as possible. So um, rather than just showing a PowerPoint slide or talking about an activity in the book, I think it's very important that um, we actually get the teachers to do something hands-on. So they're actually sitting down, they're creating something that we might get the students to do in their lesson. And I think really we've actually encouraged some of the teachers maybe who were a little bit more reluctant to try an activity out 
or to see that there might be an issue, to become much more open-minded in terms of trying something in their own classroom. So, you know, by trying it out themselves, it means that come September, they might think, well, that seemed like a really good idea. I think I might try it in my classroom. So lots of practical hand, hands-on stuff, encouraging literacy before even the book starts, okay? Encouraging the children to develop, develop their fine motor skills and thinking of ways in which we can help every ability of student in the classroom. So we're not just focusing on using the book, we're not just focusing on uh, a particular kind of students, the students that always finish the book or the students that are very high level. We're actually thinking about how we can adapt our lessons and our books so that everybody in our classroom is satisfied with the pen properly. Okay, so mazes are a wonderful idea, okay, for encouraging the children to take their pencil for a walk. So they have a purpose, there's a reason why we get the children to use them. So the uh, pencil here is going to the duck, to the leaf, to the butterfly, to the flower. Okay, they're very good for encouraging. One of the reasons why you can't write properly is your eye is telling you, telling your hand what to do, but your hand isn't coordinated enough to make it work in the right way. You haven't got enough practice with the wrong hand. Okay, so these kind of things can be downloaded from the internet if you have a computer. You can have the children do them at home for extra practice if they're having troubles, if they have a computer. You can uh, also find little books with them in Tbilisi, I know, in uh, the supermarket or in the shops. Also, you can make them yourself if you're creative. I'm a very bad drawer, so I would not think of doing this. But, or even you can make some of the children make them for their friends and they can practice doing the mazes in the classroom. Okay, so these are all suggestions for encouraging pencil control. What else? Dot to dot. Okay, I'm showing my age here. When I was a, a child in school, okay, we had many activities involving dot to dot. We'd have to join up the numbers until we came to the end of whatever it was. Uh, it's very creative, we made something. If you were thinking, but why are there numbers there? Why don't we make A, B, C? Because, ladies and gentlemen, literacy and numeracy go together. Okay. Cognitively, children are ready to learn to uh, think about becoming literate with letters at the same time as they become uh, numerate. All right. That's why children in first grade learn to count and they also learn the letters of the alphabet. Okay, this is nice because obviously we have to join the letters up, we're creating something, plus the children have to learn to keep their pencil on the line. Again, you can get these kind of activities in books, online, or you might, in fact these you could probably make yourself, okay, and have the children do them in the classes. I know in English world, there are some similar activities, but it's always good to encourage the children to actually practice more. Okay, another idea, and then I want to show you some books that I have, all right, are swirls and patterns. Okay, I cannot underestimate how important these are, okay. Very important for your students, even though they look like they're just drawing, okay. I don't know how many children in Georgia now get to go to preschool. Maybe it's more than it used to be. But many children are also still at home, I think, with carers or with parents. So, these kind of activities are very nice for the children. Basically, they have, this person is running after his hat. This one is running after the kite. The little boy is running after the football. The bee is running after the flower and the soldier needs to get to the castle. Practicing different patterns, okay? So the person is keep the child is keeping their pencil on the line as they go over these squiggles. And if you look at them, they actually look like they might be letters. So it could be practice for doing M's. It could be practice for doing O's, M's, S's, 
the letters that go up and down, so H's and L's and T's, okay? So all of these are good practice. Again, you can find them in books in Georgia that I guess Tre unde le tre nici zali sa interesua. Si ce le vei costa un tre centus ola sa o peti sa tre nici movis mine. A camu in buniari sa zali an beori metodi da gza mrogor vasalot da tre bici clas mosalep si disuri ena beori ram com na chuni bici chuni tre nici smier comu sa scuia saram zali an carki tre nici aris mrogor Pirovali ve sa obrisa smo vismine, zadnje karga da gademo s tem s nazrebs, da tamo šit kojih snis ola pirs. Me mohar uvijek ne budi tuk, ide vrtkelo, če bi tarde buda, a se ti trening. So, letters in the air is the first one. Alright, so I would take my flashcard, and I would put my first flashcard on the board. Okay. So what's the little boy doing? He's swimming. He's swimming. He's swimming. So it's S for swimming. S for swimming. And I would turn around and I would show the children how it's formed. Okay. S for swimming. Next, okay, I would take another card and I would stick that card up. Standing. Standing, but he's a boy, maybe. It's difficult to tell here. Boy. So, B for boy or B for boy. And then I would turn around again and do a giant B that everybody can see. These are letters in the air. Okay. The next thing I would do would be to take another card. Okay. Any random card, it's not important. Or maybe you could be teaching. You know the letters that we talked about before. Okay. What's this? Chair. chair. So C for chair. C for chair. Turn around again and draw the letter in the air. Okay. Now, our next activity that we can do is to get the children to try and guess which letter I'm drawing. So I would turn around. Okay. Children, which letter is this? Which letter is this? Which letter is this? B. 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 Exactly, B. And you'd have a classroom activity. You could obviously write the letter down here. Okay, so it would be B, S, C. And then the children could look at the pattern on the board. But it's a nice activity. It's visual. You're using the flashcards. Okay, so we can see that actually it's really difficult to get the children sometimes to make those patterns. Let's say, okay, and I've lost everybody's name now. Nana, let's say Nana can make this letter perfectly. Yes. She's doing it beautifully. She doesn't need any extra help. But Tamuna has a problem. Every time Tamuna tries to write S, she's writing like that. Okay, I think many children have issues like that. So what can we do to give them more practice? Okay, all right. So, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I have been busy. I have been keeping the Goodwill supermarket afloat with all my spending. I am here. I speak British. Oh, I am here. Super, oh yes. Okay. It's salt. Okay, so obviously I chose salt, first of all. Oops. I chose salt because it's cheap. I'm a teacher. I cannot buy something else for you. Yes. Okay. Also, don't forget, my children are five years old. You know, years ago I used to do this activity with sugar. After one week, I have no sugar left because they're eating it. <laughs> okay, so, all right. Let me give you, if you'd like to take a plate and then pass it back, I want every, whoops. Okay, I would like to give everybody some salt. I know it's bad luck, I know. I, I will do it. Okay, take one. Could you pass one back, please? Pass it back. Everybody will have one. I want you to feel how it feels. Okay, 
Check one, pass one back, okay, pass it back to your friend. Have one between two in the classroom. Okay. Okay. Pass one back, please. Okay. Okay. Exciting training, and I think that um, teachers have really, you know, because it's voluntary training, we've had very good numbers in the classrooms. We've had very dedicated teachers who ask lots of questions, who want to know how things can be applied in their classroom. And, you know, I think the best thing about coming is that uh, if there was an activity, for example, um, I do one activity in my classroom where we have. Uh, lots of hands-on touching of different materials and the teachers might foresee that there's an issue or a problem there and actually when I explain that yeah not everybody would do that at the same time but actually you might have a different place in the classroom a workstation in the classroom where you could get the children to actually work in very small groups or on their own if they needed some extra help and if you have fast finishers who finish before the other children. They can be at another point in the classroom, either helping their peers as peer helpers, or they can be doing an extension activity. So I think it's been very nice to actually try and show the teachers exactly how the exercises can practically fit into their classrooms. Remember, Tamuna's having some problems writing her letters. Sorry, Tamuna. Now I remember your name in my head, I will have to pick on it. Okay, so, Tamuna can't get it right. What else can I do? Alright, water, paintbrush. You don't need a paintbrush, you can use your finger, actually, the child can use their finger. Okay, I'm going to ask Tamuna to, for example, look, she's writing, I need a bit more water here, she's writing. Practicing her S on the paper. Okay, so we can see it now. It's warm today, even in the winter, the radiators are on. In a couple of minutes, she won't be able to see it. Nobody will be able to see it. You know, so for example, Eka won't look at Tamona's C or S and say, Oh, you couldn't do it because she can't see it. Okay, children are not nice to each other sometimes, you know that. They look at what the other child is doing. If they can't do it properly, they will get teased. 
it's more practice, it's free. Use your finger on the water on the paper, you can use the paper again for something else. Okay, so you're practicing doing something like this. Another idea, okay, I hope this works, I don't know, let's try, okay. All right, lemon. And I'm squeezing my lemon into my cup. I am taking my paintbrush. And I would like you to write any letter for me, please. Any letter. Okay. So, what's the point of this? All right. Apparently, okay, when the letter dries, okay, we'll have to, thank you so much. Perfect. It's very cheap to buy a lemon. When the letter dries, apparently, when we hold it up to the light, whoops, so it's a bit too bright, okay, you can actually, you will actually be able to see a secret letter. So you won't see it on the paper, but when the lemon juice dries, we will we'll try, we'll have a look later on, we will actually be able to see the letter M. So the children are able, able to see, I think you can see it here, for example, yeah, okay. Yeah. The children are able to see secret messages. You can do it with letters, you can do it with words, okay. It's a nice way of involving the children in the classroom. Uh, Students pedagogy trainings, Romans at Utsua Bak, Albert on his house guy. A training I submit and there's a man and a man that's a Shamokta was a quest Alusta, what's laps in Palmeps method of strum of its practical at the Tanya Gamba Gaba. That's a class of she Pasha is English students, Stalin's Gam, Jabba Sabistis, at Gan Mat Proyola at Matio at the Halisian at the Halisian at this Alan. Um, so, everybody now is going to have some play done. I would like you all to make a letter of the alphabet. Everybody make a letter of the alphabet. Make a letter of the alphabet. Put your fingers in there, yes? I want to eat it. No, don't eat it. Many people have touched it, don't eat it. Yeah. Did you want orange? There you go. Super. I would like two people to come and help me, please. Two people to come and help me, please. Who would like to come and help me? I love it when you all run up. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I pr you won't have to speak. Come. Another prep. Come. 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 It's and there's a present for helping. Yeah. Okay. So. Right. I have my beauty mask. Which one of you ladies would like to? Yes? Okay. Would you like to cover up your eyes with our beauty mask? Can you see anything? No. Are you sure? No. Just not right. Okay. Would you like to? I'm so sure enough. Would you come with me one minute, please? Okay. Let's have you come over to the board. I've lost my board marker. Okay. Sharina, I want to give you a piece of chalk. I'm going to invite Tamina ta, 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 to touch come, 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 ta, ta, to touch the letters on the table and I'm going to give her a minute to try and guess, guess which letter. Oh, you will tell, you will right. tell, okay, your friend what letters you feel because we're grown-ups, okay? You can say capital, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> or lowercase letters because it's more difficult like that. Yeah. Okay, off you go. 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 Uh, K, yes. Uh, right, you're right. K is capital. Three. Capital K, okay. Next one. Okay, good job, perfect. Uh-huh. 
Wonderful. Okay. Yes. okay. okay. Uh huh. Super. Ill. Okay. Perfect. Good job. Ill. Small L, yes. Small L, yes. The most important thing is that the training is done. 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 The